Google has just released Nano Banana and VEO3 completely free inside Whisk. And what makes it even better is that both tools now work seamlessly together in one powerful platform. Unlike Gemini or Google AI Studio, where resizing and editing can feel frustrating, Whisk makes everything easy with built-in frame selection and a clean workflow. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use Whisk step-by-step, -step, from generating stunning images to editing them and even animating them with VEO3 for free. Trust me, once you see how smooth this works, you'll never go back to the old tools again. All right. Let's get started. Click the link in the description below and you will be redirected to Whisk. It is free to access with your Google account. Down here, you'll see the text prompt box. If we click add image, the left sidebar expands. This is where you can upload assets or drag in images for subject, scene, and style. Watch the video to the very end to learn the smooth workflow of using Google Banana with VO3 for free. Now, if you want to generate your own image, you can click enter text and enter a text prompt to generate the image, or you can upload your own here. For this demo, I'll upload my own character from my device. If you don't have a well-defined prompt or image, you can click the little dice button to generate random subjects. These are great for inspiration when you need one. Any image you upload can also be edited. Click this little edit button to enter the editing panel. Let's take this girl image and prompt it to be eating a donut, then click generate. With one click, you get a consistent character with exactly the change you asked for. You can then use that new image as your subject reference. The same process can be used for setting up your scene or style. You can roll the dice for suggestions, write prompts, or upload your own visuals. I want to add one more subject, so I'm clicking this plus icon and uploading a clothing collage I found online. For the scene, I'll pick this cute restaurant view. I don't know how well Google can combine all these images, so let's wait and see. For the style, I'm skipping it for now. Now, in the prompt box, I'll type, a woman is sitting outside a restaurant, wearing sunglasses and holding a bag. Whisk also gives you preset aspect ratios to fit your needs, square, portrait, or landscape, so you don't have to manually resize anything like before. In the settings tab, you can tweak the seed number and toggle precise reference mode. When it's on, your results stick closely to the reference images you upload. Turning it off gives you more freedom but slightly less consistency. Let's hit generate and see what happens. During the generation, please hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel. Your single like gives us motivation to keep moving. Here are the results. I ran a few more generations for variation, and you can see how beautifully Whisk merged everything. The clothing details, the background, and the overall mood all blend naturally without losing character consistency. Now for one of my favorite features, Refine. If you want to make quick edits, just click Refine and describe what you'd like to adjust. For example, I'll tell it to make the woman hold a coffee cup. One click, and it's done. Let's also add a laptop on the table. See how easy it is. You can even modify the entire scene simply by typing in what you want to see next. Once you're happy with your image, go back to the main project workspace. Now let's animate it using VEO3. Click animate on your image to open the video panel. Type a short prompt describing the action or dialogue you want. You can even include lines for your character to speak. Here's the result I got. Sipping my coffee and getting some work done, Gray C. Isn't this the perfect morning? I bet you wish you were here too. <laughs> if you don't write any dialogue or sound effects, Whisk might still generate ambient sounds or random voice lines automatically. I hope this walkthrough helped you learn the tool more deeply. If you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button and become a member of our channel. Before going to the next feature, let me quickly show you something interesting. You know, we're always exploring amazing AI tools like image and video generators, but have you ever thought about actually making money with the content you create? Here's a super simple way to monetize your AI-generated photos, videos, or any type of content. It's a platform called DFans, and the best part is it handles most of the hard work for you. Instead of spending hours chatting, promoting, and selling manually, DFans gives you an AI chat assistant that talks with your fans, promotes your work, and even sells your content while you sleep. Pretty wild, right? So let me quickly show you how it works. Once you click the link in the description, you'll land on the DFans dashboard. Just hit the Become a Creator button, and you can sign up in seconds using your email or Google account. After that, you'll set up your profile with a photo, a display name, and a short bio location, and finally click Save. Remember, this is what your fans will see. Next, you can create your own subscription tier. For example, 
You might offer AI artwork packs, behind the scenes prompts, or custom edits. Set your price, add some perks, and even create a promo bundle with a discount to attract new subscribers. Now here's the game changer, the AI chatbot companion. With just a few clicks, you create an AI version of yourself that automatically chats with fans, builds engagement, and sells your content directly. You simply upload your images, videos, or any files you want to sell, set the price, and the AI does the rest. You can even customize the chatbot prompt. For example, if a photo shows you in a red dress, it could say, Would you like to feel the texture of this red dress? This makes the chat feel real and personal. From there, everything is managed in one place. Your posts, your fan messages, your sales, and even your earnings in crypto like USDT or ETH. It's super beginner friendly and saves you so much time. Also, DFans is 100% AI friendly, meaning your account will never be banned for using AI. Unlike other platforms where a single ban can freeze assets or lose customers, DFans is safe and even welcomes creators who were banned elsewhere. Plus, unlike other platforms where support is slow or automated, DFans provides real human customer support that responds within 24 hours. They've also added a new AI analysis feature that helps you track your performance and understand what's working across your content. So, if you're creating cool AI images or videos already, why not turn that into income? Check the link in the description, give DFans fans a try and start monetizing your content today. Before wrapping up, here's a quick tip for those who want deeper control beyond the three reference limit. Instead of managing separate references, you can combine them first. I created a single image containing an old man, a walrus, and a donut. The image shows the old man and walrus eating the donut. Then, I refined it by changing the old man's hat color to blue. After that, I cleared all the subjects from the left sidebar and dragged the generated image into the subject slot. Next, I added a scene using the dice option, which looks like a dimly lit bar, and again used the dice to generate a style of pixel art. In the prompt, I wrote, an old man and a walrus sitting together, enjoying donuts at a small table, with a dimly lit bar background and warm lighting. And here's the outcome. The mix of the bar environment with the pixel art styling looks absolutely stunning. And that's not all. Let's simply give it an animation by pasting a prompt and clicking Generate. Here's the result. Ah, nothing like a sweet treat after a long day. This really hits the spot. For my dedicated viewers watching all the way through, there's a secret image hidden in this video. Spot it, leave the exact timestamp in the comments, and let's see who's the first to find it. One last thing for those curious about the tech behind this. The main generation model that Whisk uses is Imagine 4, while the refine feature runs on Nano Banana. Image generation itself is unlimited, but using VEO3 for video generation is limited to five generations per month per email address. Don't worry, it resets automatically every month. Give it a try yourself using the link below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.